So I used to work in this line of shops, so I won't go into the details of exactly where it is. And uh, I used to work all night. And during my work all night, I used to have to sort of transport out for young girls and other customers coming out of pubs and kind of kebab houses like that one, not specifically that kebab house because that wasn't here now. But rest assured, I did used to work in this line of shops. And then, this is, we're talking 20 odd years ago, 23 years ago, and then, as now, it was run, this particular shop, similar to this one, but it wasn't that shop, it was run by a gang of migrant Kurdish immigrants. I suspect illegal immigrants, so I can't prove that for sure. But I did witness many young girls coming out of one of these kebab shops. Very young girls, I'm talking 12, 14 years of age. And believe me, they were in a sad state, some of them. Um, but some of them have probably had an illegal drink. Some of them have, well, regarded it as a little adventure, I'm sure. But one of the staff at one of these places, not that place, a similar place uh, I actually heard him chatting to these girls you know you're beautiful I would be your boyfriend blah 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 come up, come back later when the kebab shop shuts and many many did sadly and I can assure you I saw many many girls coming out shaking visibly shaking terrified so what it was the main mouthpiece of the place his English was quite good and it was very charming and dark and Turkish he was a Kurdish man from southern Turkey and he would be the mouthpiece but of course once the girls were off this street and upstairs oh god knows you can imagine what could happen we know in Rochdale we know in Rotherham we know in Moldham we know in Luton London Bath Bristol you know this grooming this euphemistic name grooming happens all over the country and we know who particularly does this, don't we? It's not, it's not you, it's never the Sikhs, it's never the Chinese, it's rarely the British, although it does go on, I'm sure. It's that gang that follow the Prophet Muhammad. Yes, those people. And in this case too, it was those people. It went on and on for a long time. This particular guy, this Joseph, actually bragged, bragged in my taxi, which was driving at the time, how he'd been with so many virgins, he'd got so many girls pregnant and I, I complained to the police about it and two WPCs were not interested. Anyway, so that, that is my testimony, what I saw and how it happens. Naive, silly girls, probably some of them, some of them having a few drinks, being duped into what they think is a romantic future affair but just leads them into being pregnant and abused and battered. Um, I told as many people as I could about it and how disgraceful it was. And eventually, I understand a couple of local gangsters went round there with guns. And I said, look, you get, out, you get out of this town or we're going to see you off, if you know what I mean. So that's my testimony, what I saw many, many years ago. And I've seen it since as well. Have a look at Jada Franson or Tommy Robinson. They will confirm... In their communities, it's happened for years. Okay. See you guys.